Hello, welcome back to the end of uh, chapter 2. Uh, just recapping again, so as we saw, uh, there were, I think about 4 or 5 people here. They all must have came out this door. What you got to remember is, the, whoever graffitied, you have to work backwards. Um, uh, the director is not going to let me stand still. Uh, there's a couple of uh, easter eggs I missed. Um, actually, just one thing. What epoxy... The toilet's out here. How is that a safe house? Like, seriously, wouldn't you have the toilet in there? I hope they're not peeing in this sort of stuff. That would be wrong. Um, so, anyway, there's some uh, mugs here. They're uh, sourced to Counter-Strike. Gotta watch the, um... It's the only thing. Even on the easy, the director doesn't shut up. Uh, it's just annoying. Um, so there's some counter... What is sleep? Um, the Counter-Strike, uh, source. Um, you can... Beefy computers? You don't... Oh. How about that? Surely I only have had times to... Like I, I exploded and I got a car. Where is my team? Oh, far out. Always keep your gun loaded. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you guys alright? What's the matter with you? Flip the neck. So anyway, beefy computer. It's not that you need a beefy computer. But you can actually blow... Oh, you can blow the side off it. And you can see the insides. Which I... Maybe I can do it on this one. No, I just... Built enough computer out of that computer. <laughs> what the hell happened there? So yeah, you can kind of see the framework. Anyway, um, uh, outside you'll find a, uh, a reference to Payday. I don't know if I. So there's a crossover uh, that will come up next. We'll talk about the Payday crossover quite a bit in the next uh, one. Um, here you have oh, these. Uh, Schultz Schmaltz Ice. It's probably a, a reference to Jordan or um, Nick Schmaltz, um, who are a famous ice hockey. Um, Schmaltz is also like a goose, I think it's goose fat, and it's a Jewish cuisine, so I don't know why you would have a drink called goose fat ice. Yeah. Anyway, um, Unless if it's like a a, a a tribute to Schmatz. Now Schmatz was the uh, first woman ever to die on Everest. But to, why why you would call your drink ice for the first woman? And everyone who tried to rescue the corpse of uh, the first woman that died on Everest died as well. So I wouldn't call you drink that. But that's Schmatz, not Schmaltz. So, anyway, those people would have came out this way. They That, that road is blocked off, so... Um, they, can't, they, they they wouldn't have gone that way. Um, they And they all killed that. That must have been pretty badass, because they, they would have killed all these people. They evidently went through the office block, uh, where we went through. They came down here. Um... Uh, So he uh, evidently kept going. So he uh, evidently kept going again. Uh, they would have gone down here. Uh, they evidently was uh, going wherever the military was. They killed all these people. I actually didn't kill those people. So, you know, they were pretty badass. They would have shut the door, turned the electricity off to stop... I don't know why they did that, but apparently they might have done that. Uh, they might have come over here, you know, gunned a few. Um, then they would have taken a shortcut. They would have come down, come down here. 
And come down all the way down here, all the way down here. Down, kill, 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 kill. Because all these bodies on the signs, other than the ones that I did, of course, or all, all, all the, all the rad dolls. Um, like, I, I didn't kill all these people. Um, and then you come here, and this is a, a, a survivor. A buddy died. And then a buddy put a blanket over. And I'll let Valve continue on from here, and then we'll talk a bit about Francis. This covered body is an example of how we tell a story in the levels without using any words or overt storytelling. We wanted to show that there are other people in the world that are survivors like you. We figured most people wouldn't survive very long, and you'd come across their bodies. But we needed a way to set these apart from all the dead ragdolls of the common infected. By simply covering a body with a blanket or a sheet, it becomes really obvious that this guy had a buddy, a friend. And when he went down, his friend had compassion and covered him up. This also tells a story about the state of the world, that they wouldn't want to go out and bury the body. They couldn't expose themselves to infected. So they'd have the bodies right there with them, but covered. Sometimes you'll see a covered body right outside a checkpoint. So it's like they were in a safe area and maybe during the night their buddy died from his wounds. So the next morning the other survivors didn't really want the body in there with them. So they dragged it outside. This was the best they could do for the guy. So I just wanted to talk about Francis for a sec. Uh, going back to the uh, Sacrifice uh, comic. Uh, the official comic by Valve. Here, two days after a bit of backstory uh, with Francis. Uh, before this, he was he used to work for uh, Hirsch, uh, but he got fired. So uh, I'm guessing he took advantage of the time, uh, took advantage of um, the world being in a bit of disarray. Though they weren't sure of about the uh, zombie side of things, they were still under the, uh, a fluke kind of situation um, so here you have uh, he took advantage he's trying to steal a flat screen TV he's not the smartest of criminals um, because he tries to convince a cop that he's a cop um, so of course it doesn't work and uh, he tries to make a run for it fails in that area as well uh, and he's bragging it to his uh, motorcycle gang, uh, basically, you know, why he's going to prison. And uh, this is Sandro, this is his uh, girlfriend, lover. And uh, um, they uh, they inform him at the bar that uh, he won't get any visits because in the Pennsylvania jail, they don't allow that sort of thing. Um, so Sandra, uh, being turned on by him, goes, uh, how badass he is says let's go to the back room and she goes to the back room but uh, she's evidently already got the green flu she's sick all over his vest um, which is the only very few things that he does like in life um, he basically hates everything and I'll go th uh, through a rundown of what he hates um, but uh, there's three things we know he does like he likes lasagna uh, we know he likes steam and he definitely likes his vest um, So her puking over it wasn't didn't go down too well Ruined the moment, but then she bit him anyway, and uh, he tries to get away says uh, stay away from me Don't visit me in jail. She's uh, evidently fast turning into a zombie um, uh, Or into one of the infected she launches for him and Duke shoots her in the head. Uh, I don't know why uh, she's called Sandra and Becky. Um, anyway, you'll notice here that there's a there's a um, there's a different motorcycle gang here, Midnight Riders. He's gone through a few different ones. Anyway, uh, here his gang tells him that there, there's a zombie outbreak. And uh, he's realized that he can't go to jail if there's a zombie outbreak. That changes everything. Um, so yeah, he's now, it's like one big bar fight to him now. 
this uh, world. He he embraces the idea of the zombie apocalypse. Orders he must be the ringleader of the group. He uh, orders all his clan to go uh, to the roof, cut the jukebox with them, take some beer, and uh, they're going to start a party. And uh, he, they say, oh, there must be a thousand, so you can see how quickly it changed two days after the infection. And uh, without any law or anything, he just starts shooting them. And 99, 98, 97, and he does a countdown. So that gives us a bit of backstory as to Francis. Okay, back at the end of chapter 2, let's see what happens. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Oh, they're still... <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, um... So as I was saying with Francis, oh we're all going crazy on the weather, get crappy. <laughs> um, so Francis was in a couple of bike games as can be shown by his tattoos. Uh, he's a Warhammer player, um, probably because of the uh, Star of Chaos. Um, he uh, belonged to a motorcycle game called Hell's Legion. Um, he's uh, likes Jesse James. Um, he's got a birth date there, 6, 6 29, 72, um, making him seem around about 38 years old. He's, uh, he's, uh, always, um, arguing, he's kind of feels like he's the alpha male, um, or he, he, he believes that, you can see, you can tell. Um, he has a fear of islands as well, so he's probably, um, he probably can't swim, the big tough guy can't swim at all. Uh, and he's a, he's the joke of that um, he hates everything. Like in the No Mercy campaign, he hates cops, doctors, elevators, helicopters, uh, hospitals, lawyers, sewers, stairs, subways, as far as I can tell. Um, but he, as he said, he loves his vest. And that was the one she puked all over. Um, anyway, so that's... Uh, oh, he's got a Lambda scar, which is from Half-Life 2 on the top of his head there um, and that's basically about it I think um, his uh, facial features are featured from Taylor Knox a surfer and uh, he's voiced by Vince Valenzuela uh, an actor famous in the Grim TV series um, is there anything else I'm going to go off oh he keeps saying uh, every time he picks up a shotgun he says groovy um, kind of like uh, they do in Duke Nukem, but uh, Duke Nukem's uh, yeah, that's an Easter egg of Evil Dead 2, so uh, it's possible that they, this is just a an Easter egg of uh, Evil Dead 2 as well, or a reference. Um, I think that's about it, really. Let's continue on. There's not too many uh, Easter eggs on this one, so we can quickly speed through it all. You got your under videos, follows, which is there. And it's pointing to a wall, I think. I'm not sure why. Somebody must have moved it. Um, you got no loitering. Of course, as we uh, know, the um, the AI, the director, does not like us to sit around. And it will constantly spawn um, hordes towards us. So that we aren't ever stationary. I thought I could hear the tank. <laughs> uh, ow. You're not allowed in the diner. This is a, a tie affair. What was this? Got a tie. Uh, it's on easy, so tank's pretty easy to defeat. Uh, so this is the burger tank. Uh, the motto of the bur burger tank is... Um, uh, it'll destroy your hunger. Uh, it's kind of like the McDonald's in real life, I guess. It's got, uh, quite cheap though. Got some good stuff. That's it. That's this menu right there. Um, the burger tank must be uh, connected with Hirsch. So as I said, uh, Francis actually used to work for Hirsch, as pointed out in the next campaign. But uh, he was uh, fired after assaulting a person to death. Um, 
who uh, teased him for his brown shorts, which I'm guessing is the uniform. Um, we've got a witch here somewhere. Oh, right there. Ah, oh, stuff here. There we go. As I said, it's not easy. Um, so there's an Easter egg over here. Gabe's car wash. Um, Pac-Man, and I can't remember what game that is, but I've played it. It's a kids' game. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why that's there, but it's an Easter egg. No one really points out. Uh, pump and run is the uh, motto of the game. You just grab a pump shotgun um, because it is one of the toughest game, games to handle the infected and chop chop so there we go quick quick uh, if I can get them all to come over here so if you didn't know you can blow up this gas station that's the best thing ever <laughs> troll people blow it, blow it up when people are there uh, I'll give you a ramp but you can get up there anyway and you can go back to the safe house um, if you got the tank, but tanks can actually get through the safe house stores. Um, so I don't really see the point of that. You can get a tank to punch you through here. So if you crouch and get the tank to punch you, you can punch straight through that wall. Uh, you can actually uh, bash this wall down occasionally. Um, you used to be able to bash it down all the time, but they kind of half fixed that. And sometimes you can bash it down, um, other times you can't. So no one really worries about it because there's just no point anymore. But you used to be able to uh, get away from uh, getting in onto the horde event. Uh, there's a number somewhere, I can't remember where, but it's, um, oh, let's see if I can find it. If you look around for it, it's 03113790. It's in this game, it's in Half-Life, it's in all sorts of things. Funny thing is, is people keep ringing that telephone number. <laughs> Somebody keeps answering. <laughs> They're like, "Did you know you had the numbers in a game?" And he's like, "Yes." <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, sorry to bother you." And that's it. So <laughs> I don't know what the story is there, but I've seen quite a few posts from people that say that they have wrong that number. And uh, guys, I don't. I think you might be just over it. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think of meeting people that way, would you? Um, oh, I can just... So, an easy way of dealing with this is just... Um, it's kind of an easy way. And that will get through a majority of the thing. You've got actually two Molotovs. There's usually another Molotov always here. And they'll handle everything, they'll handle that sign. Always jump into the corner here. Okay, so, um, down here, uh, there's a door you can open. So the only purpose of that door is if you have a tank. Is if you have a tank in there, you can lead him back outside and get rid of him that way. As I uh, smoke on that. Uh, there's a no smoking sign, which is funny for Bill, because he's you know, never without a cigarette in his mouth, as you can see. He really doesn't care. Um, I 
So this is the Eastern Waterworks. You'll always find this next to a Hirsch building. They must have a connection. This is an automated water system as well. You'll notice a lot of the infected uh, vomit up the green fluid. So they're constantly um, losing fluids, which probably explains why we found that woman uh, dead on the first bed. Um, actually, it was interesting that uh, where I showed you how they went and some would cover over that body with a blanket. One of those survivors might have been the original ones on top of the roof where you first started. Uh, they may have got that far, which makes more sense because of what we're about to come up with, come across. You always find two people here. They kind of look infected though. Um, they're natural survivors. So my guess is a survivor must have come in here. My, my guess is uh, the survivors, some survivors got, uh, got down through this the area, but they would have come from up the next safe room. The problem with the shotgun is useless against the special infected. It's great against the infected, but not the special infected. So you've got to kind of leave. You've got to kind of leave the special infected. I'm just looking to see if there's a pipe bomb. There isn't. Um, there's always a huge amount of infected up here. Just trying to get in the corner. Alright. Now, unfortunately, the uh, computer isn't going to let us rest. Uh, so, we'll clear the area anyway. Saw the boomer in the background. I'm reloading. Thank you. I always try and keep it going. With this shotgun, you can if you reload while you shoot, you, you can kind of get a... It's hard, but you can get a, a quarter of a reload. I'm trying to wait for the helicopter to come, because occasionally you can get a helicopter coming. Uh, so this is Mercy Hospital. We made a J, And you'll find here... Uh, Evacuation center number eight. So this is number eight of where the Aceta was trying to evacuate everyone. Um, uh, um, evidently they tried other places first, but uh, they became overrun. And then later on they tried other. And then later on they tried other places. Um, uh, emergency center for this region. Uh, please stay outside and avoid crowding a uh, seat of representative uh, I can't read it I knew there was going to be a horn uh, 
Okay. I see the representative evacuation or infection before evacuation clearance can begin. So that's basically, uh, yeah, that's pretty much. So you can see, I just, yeah, shotgun's useless um, against that. So I get frustrated with the special infected. They toned down the shotgun, I wish I didn't. Uh, so you gotta kinda choose, do you want it? You want good weapons against just normal zombies, or do you want good weapons against? Um, uh, the, this weapon is not too bad against the tank um, because of, of the spread. But as I said, it does take about 40 bullets, 30, 32 to 40 bullets. Um, don't know when these. I might just edit it until this helicopter comes, so you can see the animation. Alright. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you see the helicopter. The helicopter's landed and then it's taken off again. Um, now, it's not the same helicopter that uh, the, the Channel 5 uh, that picks you up. So there's a couple choppers running around evacuating people. But someone just evacuated not long before you get to the hospital. That's the point I wanted to make. Uh, but it does take a while for that to kind of spawn in that animation. So let's go. Uh, we'll just quickly talk about some of the graffiti in here. We made that. Can you believe it? And then that's about. That'll be it. We'll have another in-depth video done. I wonder who was uh, covered in the blanket. I reckon it was. I don't know. I, I, I've got a. I've got a list, a Left for Dead list of all the people and references and arrows pointing everywhere. It's quite funny. Yeah, it's like a crime scene photo. <laughs> um, okay, so you got uh, somebody's actually. So this people came to the hospital just because they were sick. They, this wasn't an original evacuation. I'm just going to shut these guys on. Um. And um, so people came here and here. Eventually, after the other, like, one, two, three started to become overrun, then these uh, other places were opened up as evacuation. And this was the eighth place to open up eventually. Um, so when this wasn't an evacuation centre, some, some, somewhere else was, and whoever it was ripped it off selfishly and to... And went off and took the list with them. So anyone coming into the safe house, uh, this safe house would have had nowhere to go. Having said that, it is a hospital, so. Um, but I think it's this person here, because uh, you know she seems to be a bit. T is it this one? Yeah, Dennis got a bit bad and feel okay. See you at the airport. So she's off to the airport, Katie. Um, but uh, it just, I just think that's interesting. Um, and she, this uh, the the poster must have already been ripped for her to uh, write down here. Peter waited until Thursday, couldn't wait any longer, went to Riverside with others. I'm so sorry. So this others, because if you remember back in number one, um, Jen and Aaron were heading to Riverside. So they may have actually got here, uh, which means they weren't the people that was... Uh, uh, on the bed and the way you uh, on the roof where you start um, as I said that might have been people from the third safe house um, but uh, so people from the first safe house may have actually got here Jen and Aaron and if Sarah read the graffiti and uh, she caught up there might be four of them so it might be Kate Jen and Aaron now all heading off to Riverside a bunch of four people like us kick-ass people um, that, there's your there's your point for Left 4 Dead 3 right there um, okay, and also she's crossed I'm so sorry um, which is interesting because this one's underlined too is like lies 53,595 as if you killed that um, and that was Kate 
Uh, I'm safe. I got out and I am traveling with good people. They are immune to. We are going to find a supermarket and fortify it. We will hide until the army comes. I love you, Sharon. So here we found out that other people are now knowing they're immune. Uh, like yourself from the zombie virus. Um, um, what, that still doesn't mean they're, they're understanding that they're carriers. But they, they at least understand that they can't be... Um, turn into a zombie themselves it doesn't stop the infected from killing you because um, they'll just claw you to death um, but this also could be a reference to The Mist uh, by Stephen King um, uh, what else someone's evidently been eating the snake mushrooms and over here, well, I killed 63, 77, 104 has been circular, 86, 109. Are they, these might be the same numbers, these ones from the same group. Um, and it looks like 104 and 53,000. Um, this is a, uh, this is a, a reference to, oh, I can't remember the name now, Dead Rising. Uh, so in that game, uh, there's a 50, uh, achievement for if you kill 53,595. That's that's the reference there. Uh, I'm not sure what the if there's any more references there at all. Um, I've got one more secret, but I'll leave that for the next video. Um, you can look how much light that thing portrays. That's crazy. Alright, until next time, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look. Uh, join me for the next one, it's going to be quite a big one. Till then, bye for now.